Hey guys, so today I have a really quick card for you. Um, this is the last week of celebration, so on March 31st, it, it, it ends. And celebration is every $50 you spend, you do receive a free item. So definitely grab what you can while you can. The supplies are going fast, so um, you know if there's something you've been eyeing, you don't want to wait too long. Um, so... Today, I thought I would feature a couple items from the Celebration catalog. I've featured everything in previous videos, but I did want to bring a couple things out that I don't think got too much attention. The first one is Inside the Lies Designer Series Paper. Now, I have to be honest, this was one of the last items I chose. Um, I'm really not into the whole coloring craze. I have a few coloring books, adult coloring books, but I don't color them. They just sit in a drawer. So this, although beautiful paper, not really my type of thing, honestly. But last week, I think it was, I saw Sarah uh, Stampin' Up! CEO. She created a really simple card using this DSP, and I was in love. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. Today's idea is not my own, um, but if you didn't catch her video... I'm not sure where it was posted either. I don't know if it was a live video or on Stampin' Up! YouTube channel. But either way, I'm going to do it for you today because I just loved it. Another thing I'm going to show you today is the 3 eighths of an inch metallic ribbon combo pack. You get silver and gold. And um, not gold. Well, it's white ribbon with shiny silver accents and vanilla ribbon with gold accents. It's beautiful ribbon. So... Definitely check that out if you want any items um, in celebration. Every $50 you spend, you do get to choose one. Remember, um, if you do spend at least $50, you also are a part of my Car Kit Club for the month. And make sure to use that hostess code down below. If you don't use the hostess code, you don't, you're not a part of the Car Kit Club. So make sure you use it. And if you place an order with me, you, you will be sent an occasions catalog, and this catalog is good till May 31st. So you will be put on my mailing list for a year. Okay, so here is the DSP. You get a ton of sheets. I think there's 12 in here. So you get 12 sheets. There are three designs, and you get four of each. So I have, pl I have a ton left because, like I said, I wasn't really into it. Um, but now I am, and I'm going to be using it up. Um, so you'll need your DSP. Now, out of the annual catalog, I am using these two stamp sets. First, we have Brush Strokes and then Thankful Thoughts. And this is a great uh, stamp set for Thank You Sentiments. And I just want to mention, in a video long ago, <laughs> when I first started this YouTube channel, I had talked about the different types of stamps. Well, in my cling stamps, I had put the stickers on each stamp. And I said, yeah, they'll stick for me. Well, after some experience, I don't like it. They don't stick. So you can see I did not put the sticker on. So what I do, because I want to know, want to make sure I have all the stamps in my little packet before I put it back on the shelf. Because if you're like me, your craft area gets messy and things get lost. So what I do is I take the stickers that come with the stamp set when you first buy it. And I just open this up and I stick them in here on the inside. And then that way, when I'm done with the stamp, I can stick it here. And there's nothing on the back. And they stick to my acrylic block. So just keep that in mind if you're new to Stampin' Up! Stamps. I have definitely learned my lesson. So the sentiment we're choosing is your generos generosity is second only to your fabulosity. Um, I love this stamp set. I wanted to choose it, but it was just a little bit too big for my card, uh, card base. So I am bringing in my layering circles of framelits. And I chose a circle already that will fit perfectly over these, this sentiment. Okay, so those two stamp sets, my layering circle framelits. You will need your Versamark, and here is the ribbon, the gold and silver. Ink colors we're using today are Watermelon Wonder, Basic Black. My camera's having issues focusing. It's probably trying to focus on that. Okay, Stampin' Dimensionals, Fast Fuse. I um, have my Ink Dauber and Watermelon Wonder. You're going to need some clear embossing powder. 
your embossing buddy bag. And I've already cut down my watermelon wonder. And then I have that circle that I'll be stamping my sentiment on. And then I have cut down my piece of DSP. Now here's my sample card. I used mint macaron. Now mint macaron and watermelon wonder are colors that will be retiring. So after May 31st, you will not be able to um, purchase them anymore. So I'm kind of using up my stash. So here is the mint macaron version. I used the gold. I thought the gold went really nice with the mint macaron. I'll be using the silver for the watermelon wonder. And on this, I used white embossing powder. So here's my stamp. Um, and on the one I'm going to make with you, I'm using clear embossing powder. I believe in the video they used clear. So I kind of want to see the difference. So there's my sample card. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So let's take the, stamp, uh, the basic black, ink up my stamp. And usually I would do my sentiment first before die cutting, so keep that in mind. And I didn't get that great of an impression. I don't know if it's the stamp or my inks, but I didn't get a great impression on here either. It's kind of cloudy and I tried a different ink and it didn't give me a good impression either. So I have this Memento marker and Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it, but I will link it below because it's so handy to have. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my marker and very carefully just fill in that Y. That didn't stamp all that great. So perfect thing, awesome thing to have in your stash. So now it looks a lot better. So we'll put that aside. Next, I'm gonna take my piece of DSP and I have a this incredibly dirty piece of computer paper that's just laminated that I can easily wipe off when needed. I'm gonna take my embossing bag and go over the whole paper out of DSP and then I'm going to take my stamp and my stamp is a little bit bigger than my block but that's okay because my block is bigger than my paper and I'm going to go ahead and ink it up in my Versamark the whole stamp Okay, and I'm trying to be careful not to really touch my paper because I don't want the oils on my fingers to um, cause embossing powder to stick elsewhere where I don't want it. So I'm just going to drop this on top of my stamp. You could stamp it down. This I find easier. Take a piece of scrap paper and just go over the whole image. You can use your hands. If you have a brayer that's not the sponge brayer but a hard brayer, you can also do that as well. Hands work just as fine. Press that down. Then carefully remove my card. Now this DSP is quite thin. Hello, can I get it up? So when you are heating your paper, be very careful because when I did my sample card, I had smoke blowing everywhere. So your paper will burn very easily because it is so thin. So go ahead and take your piece. And I have my clear embossing powder here. And I'm just going to... And I have several different embossing powders mixed in, in here. So one was a little bit glittery. So there's a little bit of sparkle to my paper. Oops, which, you know, I'm okay with glitter. All right, kind of tap that off. And then we'll go ahead and make sure I'm making sure I got every space. Now the stamp set is a watercolor brush strokes, so you'll have light areas. But I do want to make sure I have embossing powder all over the um, Versamark piece where I stamped. Okay. 
Now you could leave it like this. It's beautiful. It has that sparkle or um, not sparkle, but shine. I don't know. Can you see that? So I think that looks lovely, but um, before you decide or finish up with your heat tool, make sure that you have heated the whole area because this paper is so thin. Um, I was moving the heat tool. I didn't want to stay in one spot too long. So yes, it looks like I got it all. So next I'm going to take my uh, work surface here and I'm going to take Watermelon Wonder ink and you can use a sponge, any kind of blending tool. I'm going to use the ink dauber because I like the variation in color. You have a little bit of dark spots here, a little bit lighter spots, and the ink dauber is really good at giving me that look. So we're just going to go over the whole image. Now I can already tell the difference. The white embossing powder resists the ink color so you get those white lines and the clear here does not resist the color it actually picks it up more so you get the darker lines from you know whatever color you're using so I really like that I am kind of laying it on a little heavy but that's okay I just think it's so cool. I love this look and I love it as a way to use this DSP. It makes me like the DSP. Not that anything's wrong with it, it just really wasn't my taste. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my Stampin' Dimensionals and just take three of them and put them on my little sentiment circle. Put that aside. And for this one, I'm using the uh, silver ribbon. And I'm not going to tie a bow, but I am going to wrap the ribbon around my card panel. And I'm using Fast Fuse because it's a nice, strong hold. So what I do is I pop that down. Go ahead and trim this. And you will need glue dots. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. There's always something I forget. And so I'm going to go ahead and... that around and then what I like to do is use some glue dots to kind of secure my ribbon even more so I just take one off and pop it underneath the ribbon and once I adhere this card panel down it will flatten up a bit Okay, and like I said, this paper is very thin, so so we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. And I'm using Fast Fuse just so it, it has a nice, strong hold. Take my card base. Go ahead and adhere this down. Okay, and then take my sentiment. I got a little bit of ink on my ribbon, so I'm just going to kind of cover that up. And what I'm going to do for this one, I like this one with the silver, I have silver rhinestones. So I'm going to pop some rhinestones on here. Once I open this, all right, oops. And it's just kind of subtle. You almost can barely see them, but they are there when the card moves. You can see them sparkle. So. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it is a great way to use DSP and you don't have to use it just for this uh, DSP. You can try it on any of the DSPs that you own or any pattern paper. I just think it's a really cool look. So um, let me know what you think and 
I will, of course, have all supplies listed down below. Remember to use that hostess code if you place an order of a under 150 and if you order at least $50 worth of product before shipping taxes, you will be a part of the Card Kit Club for the month of April. And I'll include that video up above if you're interested, interested to see what cards you can receive. Uh, make sure to take advantage of the last week of celebration. It does end March 31st. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you next time. Bye.